One thing that I've learned throughout the course of running a photography business is that complex does not always mean better. If you guys are looking to style more interesting product photos, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need more props, more complex styling techniques, or even three to four different lights for your scene. There are actually quite a few things that you can do to spice up even a very simple image. So let's get into a few of those, which I think are gonna help you guys to really style more interesting product photos. One thing that you can do is to show the elements of your image interacting with each other. This image depicts just a very simple setup of several cans and works as a really great styling option if you're not using any props. I went ahead and leaned one of the cans against another just using a piece of sticky tack. So now I've created a point of interest to help draw the viewer in. This is a more interesting image to look at than if the cans were just in a straight line and also adds a little more dimension to our image. Another thing that you can do is to replace a real prop with a fake one. It's always really nice to use real props or ingredients when you can, but sometimes it's more fun and interesting to experiment with the fake version, such as with ice cubes in this example. For this image, I arranged some fake ice cubes around our beverage product and then used a small dropper to drip some water around the cubes to create the illusion that they were melting. So for a technique like this, try and think of ways that you can fake the realistic elements of your photos. Another thing that you'll want to try for a lot of your product photos is to leave something to the imagination. You can do this in a number of ways, whether it's placing props to extend out from the edges of your image, something pouring in from above, or even a stream of liquid that has no end, like in this example here. The reason this technique is so effective is because it allows the viewer to envision what might be outside the edges of your frame. We want people to stop and linger on our images for a few seconds as they're scrolling through, and this is a super impactful way to make people a little more curious about what's being presented in the image. Something else you might want to try is to break a pattern. This photo of canned beverages is beautiful on its own, but it's also a little simple and predictable. By tipping the front can over, that left us some space to place the mini cactus plant, which adds another interest point to the image while also being a nod to the cactus flavor represented in the product. And finally, this styling technique is going to be great because it's going to allow you to add a really nice lifestyle element to your images, and that is to take the viewer on a trip. For this product, we could showcase all the delicious flavors of the drink, but what if we took them to the beach, sat them down on a towel, asked them to kick their shoes off, or even took them on a hunt for seashells amongst the palm trees? Ask yourself what the environment may look like while enjoying this product and then take them there. I really love using all of these techniques because some of them require just a couple props and others require none at all. So this allows you to get really creative with what you already have on hand without spending a lot of money or having a ton of resources available. So let me know which of these you guys are eager to try out. Let me know what comments you have and I'll see you in the next video.